Tonight, Philadelphia's mayor and police commissioner hosted a town hall to address the growing threat of anti-Asian violence since the start of the pandemic. Alicia Roberts was there as well. She joins us tonight from Spring Garden. Alicia, good evening. Good evening to you, Yuki. The message tonight resoundingly was this. Hate is not a victimless crime. Its trauma spans generations, but only through conversation and coming together will change happen, and the time for that is now. We feel like we are second-class citizens here in America. Thursday night, leaders within Philadelphia's Asian American community gathered for a virtual town hall to share experiences of violence and racism faced by so many since the start of the pandemic. I hear people telling me to go back to China or like um, making racist comments to me in the streets, and it has made me avoid taking public transportation as much as I can. The Mayor's Commission on Asian American Affairs hosted the event. As a city, we take these attacks very seriously. Panelists debated you know, short and long-term changes easy. needed. Yeah. Let's take the politics out of this. Let's take, let's call it what it is. That is the hate crime. Don't be afraid to speak up. Including legal measures, more reporting tools, and more boots on the ground today. That in the short term, we enhance our patrol in the Asian American business quarters and residential areas throughout the cities where we saw these upticks. And for the next generation. We need to diversify the police department. We need more Asian Americans in uniform in our police department so that there's cultural competency when it comes to responding uh, to these issues, not only these issues, but everyday issues. Now, before tonight's discussion, I also spoke with Jimmy Liu. He's a pharmacist who's administered more than 2,000 vaccines to those within the Asian American community. He says, for this to matter tonight, this conversation to stick long term, two things must happen. One, we as a Philadelphia community must acknowledge that a problem exists. And number two, groups from diverse walks of life must come together to advocate for change on behalf of those who are silenced right now. Reporting in Spring Garden, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Alicia, thank you.